Okay, 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 guys and gals. It's Min and Meg, Meg again in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. It's been a week. It's been a week. The last couple of weeks and last couple of days have been out of this world crazy with this COVID-19 virus. In the kitchen, we are in the kitchen. We realize that people cannot go out to restaurants anymore it's too dangerous and we are here to show you guys what you can do for the most appetizing delicious attractive tasty wonderful presentation in from our kitchen to yours and we're here today to go down with a fantastic, fantastic, delicious meal. It's gonna be so tasty. And again, our intentions are to bring forth something. Our greatest concerns, the elderly, the children, the animals. That's where our passion lies. That's what we're plugging in then anybody else in between like you and I can always just jump in but right now our whole intentions are for the group mentioned above guys we're gonna be doing one of the most attractive tasty dishes of all time and here we have some frozen fish with the refrigerator before all this excitement out there and it's just about, we knew this was coming, so we bought this about two weeks ago and we intended to cook and we never did get around to get this done. And now this is, this here is in the kitchen and we're gonna go down with this here dish and we want, want you guys to just stick around to see what we're gonna do with this here fish dish. Okay, today, what pet is going to benefit from this here dinner? Okay, let us take a look at what we got here. We found a different great way to sort of prep our dishes. And we're going to want to make a sauce with either lime and orange and carrot or something. But when we get there, we see what yellow sauce we want to do with some either turmeric or something something but we'll we'll do something we'll do something so we have some beans in our little container here here we have some beans which we're going to trim we have some tomatoes we have some thyme here these beans we want to go through and throw away the ones that are not good so that's no good we put them over there and then sink there and we have some lemon here some lime we're going to use today. We have some oranges, we have some potato, so, and we have some tomatoes, some carrots, and we're going to see what our creative minds will be able to come up with. Okay, as usually you know, or we start out and then the creativity start flowing. As God anoints us to cook this here dish today, we have some peppers too. Okay, so let's go, guys. Let's see what we can make of this here dish we have some paprika we have some black pepper we have some sea salt you know we can't do anything without that and yeah we're ready to roll that camera guys let's go okay guys so the meal that we have in mind I think we're gonna need some radish so we're gonna go in the refrigerator and see what we can find now that nothing is on the shelves nobody can't find anything to cook to we can't find anything to buy if we can't find anything to buy then we don't we can't find anything to cook so we're gonna look in the refrigerator and see what we come up with if we can find some radish so stick around okay guys so let's see what we found we see that we saw a packet and we decided to open that packet let's see what's in that packet okay gonna put the fish aside we're not quite ready for that yet so let's see what we got in this here packet 
Okay, class, let's go. Uh, these are round. They're in a wax paper. That's how we store our fruits. And left, oh, wow, we found something in this year, wax paper. So let's see, it's frozen. We found some radish. And we to preserve our fruits and veggies, we wash them, dry them, and put them in this wax paper. So yeah, we found something, so we're gonna put that in water because it's frozen, in some cold water. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, so now that we have found the radish, we're gonna put one in, since it's so frozen, we're gonna put one into some water, some cold water to get it defrost. Okay guys, so here we go. Just gonna pour some cold water onto this here radish. And we're just gonna put it aside and let that defrost. So we put that there and we were able to find some decor that complements our dish of the day. Blue. <laughs> Alright, let us see what else we found. We also want to put our thyme and this we pick from our garden. So we're gonna put that also into some cold water so it stays fresh and nice. And while we're at it, we're gonna put in Oh yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Okay guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can just like trim these beans. And you wanna trim and pull, cut, pull, cut, pull, cut, pull. Virus outbreak and epidemics and pandemic every kind of situation. Those are not right at all. Every kind of situation in each our test. Same way it showed us what to do as we start cooking. We have nothing in mind. It's just like it's just on start revealing once we start cooking. So, yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna put our beans. We can't find another decor in that color. So we found green. We're gonna use it. And we're gonna put our beans just to soak a little bit. And then we're gonna wash them. So the beans are going, and now everything is in water, everything is being washed. Okay. All right, let's see if we can just attack the the carrots. These are the carrots that we'll be using today. We're gonna go ahead and sort of trim them up and clean them up nicely, make them more presentable. And um, these are what we found in the refrigerator, so they're not like fresh, 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 but they're, they're still you eat, um, edible. So we're just gonna go in and take off anything that is chopped or, or, or any kind of deform, deformities, whatever, chopped. Okay guys, so now that the carrots are done, what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can just cut them a little bit. So we have this here brush, that we, it's very hard, so you know, it's very good to scrub our veggies. Just going to pour a little water in and then we're going to scrub and then we're going to rinse, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and pick off anything that needs to be taken off. Okay guys, so now that the carrots are done, clean and beautiful, rinse them and they are clean and beautiful. We're going to go ahead and do the same for the potatoes. These are some potatoes we bought like about two weeks ago that were in the refrigerator. We never did get a chance to get them, to cook them and so we're going to go ahead today and uh, see if we can trim them up and see if we can use them. They are anything that is the form on them that you chopped anything like that, we want to clean that up. We're going to do the same washing. We're going to cut them, cut this potato, just be careful. If you're not skilled with the knife, don't even attempt that, put it on the, on the board and cut it. But here are our potatoes, those are done, and we're ready to wash those. So let's go to the same. Okay guys, same, same concept as with the carrot. They are washed, they are clean, they are beautiful, washed and rinsed. Make sure your food is always clean. Um, I don't like just grab things and just all this happening with this 
bug situation. You want to make sure everything is clean. Same thing with her beans. We're going to wash these. We're going to move these aside. We're going to wash the beans and make them clean and beautiful. Okay? We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we're going to do the same thing. Wash our beans because people in the supermarket, the bugs were around the food now and who knows who touched what to pack them. You want to make sure everything is washed and clean. You want to use vinegar. I don't know what else to tell you guys. But I'll tell you. I pray over these things before I eat them so bad because I don't want to get sick. The show ain't going to get sick, you know. <laughs> So now that we've washed them, we're going to rinse these at the sink, okay? We're going to be right back. We're going to be right back. Okay guys, so we've just washed and rinsed our beans and now we're going to put them aside. So we are well in the whole way. With this here dish, we're going to prep the, the fish now. So, you know what, let me just go ahead and do the radish. The radish was washed before it was even stored. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this radish in two. Now that it's, it has the frost, okay, so that radish is ready to go. Okay guys, so since the radish was so frozen, we're just going to use a bit of bounty and we're going to put that, just wrap that around it and put it aside, let it sort of just drain that water, whatever water might be there, will be gone by the time we're ready, so we're just going to put that in there, we're going to put this aside. And hopefully it will drain and be ready in a bit so we can move ahead, okay? Well, I think that the music was too loud. Raise your hands. <laughs> I think the music was too loud. So I turn it down. In a saucepan, we're going to pour some water and we're going to cook the potato for approximately, I would want to say, three minutes, okay? So let's get some water and start this potato. Okay, in a saucepan, we're just going to pour in a cup of water okay and then we're gonna put some salt and then we're gonna put in the potatoes and we put them on the stuff on second thoughts we're gonna put the carrots also and just let them pre-cook just for a minute or two so we're just gonna put the carrot and the potatoes in and we're gonna put that on the stove this carrot is too long I need to cut it. Okay guys, okay, okay. So now that everything else is going, um you know, I have to get these gloves. Oh, I cannot deal with the fish on sent on my hands, on my hands, man. Just gotta get this, this going. So, here we go. We're ready with this here fish. Since they were frozen, we gotta go ahead and we really have to take off the water of this here fish. Okay. Gonna make sure you remove all the water off your fish as they're gonna stick they're gonna do all sorts of summer salt Now that the water is removed, you want to go in and you want to give the fish a little cut. You can go sideways, you can go whichever way you want to go. It doesn't matter, you can go this way. Okay. So just give your fish a little cut. So you're going to cut. Okay, now that this here fish is dry, we're going to go ahead and we are going to remove the thyme. Okay. And let me just pull the pull all into focus. Some of us are out of focus. 
All right, so what we're going to do, we're not going to do all the fish because I'm just giving the guys an idea, but I can all save the piece away. I'm just going to use a bigger piece of stuff for me. My sister don't use enough. So we're going to put some salt. Gonna put some pepper. Okay. We're just gonna let that sit for a few seconds and then we're gonna go to the stuff. Okay guys, so we just found out that the puppet the carrots are done. So we're gonna move them over here. Okay, and the potatoes are down too, and we're gonna put them there, doesn't matter. So those are done. So good, thank goodness we can move us out of the way. Okay guys, so we're going to prep this because we're going to sort of grill these. Okay, so I'm going to put some olive oil on those and we're going to put a little, just going to let them sit in the olive oil. We're going to roll around our beans in some olive oil on the heat for approximately one minute so we're going to put that aside because we're going to go to the stove with that okay guys so we're going to go to the stove for our fish and also for our beans so meet us there in one minute okay we have pot one and pot two this is for the fish this is for the beans so let's do the beans first and get that out of the way in the pot we drizzle in some olive oil, the same for the fish, okay, and we're going to wait and make sure those are on medium heat, we're going to put the fish over there, on the medium heat, and that's going, and we want to put the beans over here, for a minute, guys these are both going nicely and the bean is just about done the bean is done so we're going to move that to the front of the plate that the fish is still going let me put a little sea salt in these beans here okay so these are done Beans are down. So the fish is still going on the medium heat. I'm just gonna turn it around. Okay guys, so let's get let's get the other side done. And we just hold it down for a few seconds. You don't want to overdo your fish. That's just about done. So the same thing for the other side. Okay guys, so that's just about done. Let's go to the counter to play. Okay guys, now that we have the stove for our side, we're just gonna do a quick trick with our potato. We're gonna put it in the grill for a second. Okay. And then we're going to move that to our pot. We're going to go ahead. We're going to cut our carrot. We're just going to use one. We're going to put that in also for one minute. So let's put a little sea salt on. And that's just about that. So guys, what about the radish? We're gonna give Mr. Radish the same VIP treatment. Just gonna pour that into the oil. 
for a minute. Turn it over, same pot, just for a minute. And the radish is done. Okay guys, so at the counter, we're gonna make a sauce to go with this. We're gonna use a few pieces of carrots. We're gonna use a few tomatoes. And we're gonna use a little turmeric powder. Just a dash. We're gonna put a little honey in this and we're using the Wesley Farms organic. Okay guys, now that we're moving along nicely, we're gonna get a bit of lime to go with this here dish. So we're gonna just cut this lime and take a piece out for our dish. We're back now to normal level. <laughs> Alright, so there we go guys. So we've got a bit of lemon, lime. I love lemon. Kept saying lemon. A bit of lime for our project, for a cook project. For garnish, I just got <laughs> this from my garden. Isn't this cute? Oh my god, <laughs> this is a beet. I picked a couple of leaves from my garden. This is a beet. So we're gonna just go ahead and use this for garnish. We're just gonna cut, let's cut off here first and make these into small strips for garnish to make her plate. You guys are so used to going to the restaurants for dinner and now that you can't go. A lot of people are not happy, so we're going to make it very restaurants as possible. <laughs> we're going to make it very restaurants as possible, so you guys would want to, you won't miss the restaurants, okay? So we're just going to go and, isn't this cute? Look at this. This is so cute. I love it. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to make a couple of things for garnish from this here. Garden B. I'm so glad I have this little garden because now that we can't go out, we can't buy anything, whatever we can get from our garden, we just so appreciate even these. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's our garnish we're making up there. That's so cute. I like it. Okay, and we need to get some time from our garden too, so let me get some time. Okay guys, so we got some time from our garden. And I would want to say I'm going to go ahead and just trim little bits and pieces to garnish our food. And all of this coming from our little garden. Okay. So we're just going to make little bits and pieces for our garnish. Okay guys, so if you have fresh thyme at home, if you don't have a fresh one, just use what you got. These are just because our garden is still in season, our winter garden. So we're able to get these little bits and pieces. But use what you got, no worries. Okay guys, so that's what we got from our garden. If you don't have... Don't knock yourself out, that's fine too, that's okay. Use a dry one, no worries at all. So now we have a little garnish here and we're ready to start our prep, okay? Go, come, let's get it. Okay, in the little container here, we're just gonna move all of her garnish here and then we're gonna load on the food one. Okay, so it's our little garnish right here. That much. <laughs> so make it as restaurant as possible so your family will want to eat. And we're gonna zoom in now for the big one, okay? So a turmeric sauce, we're gonna pour one.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start putting on our carrot. We're gonna put our fish. We're gonna put our lime. We're gonna go ahead and put our potato on. Okay guys, so that's the dish right there. We're gonna put some rosemary that we just picked from our garden. Those are just some nice rosemary that we've just picked from our garden. Those are pretty. Just thought of putting this, that one. So yeah guys, that's the dish. That dish is done. That dish is done guys. And as usual, we're gonna take a couple of shots and then we're ready to eat, okay? That here dish is done. Yeah, guys, so yeah, dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. Okay, we're gonna take some close-up shots for thumbs, thumbnails and then we are ready to eat. Okay, but I just want you guys to see that's dinner there. Dinner is done. Dinner is done, guys. So let's go. All right, we're gonna eat. So now, until we see you guys again, it's always our intention to come back here and to produce something, something, something that will you'll be able to recreate and put on your family table, okay? This is just such a beautiful dish. We are very happy to um, produce these dishes and we always want you guys to go out there and try these dishes. It's such a pleasure to do these dishes and this one is dinner. It's a complete dish as you can see. Um, we're going to do a couple more potatoes and the other two pieces of fish and then we can send it to friends and family so we can reproduce this and send out to next door neighbors or people who are in hardship, people on the street that don't have anything to eat in this year crisis. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to recreate this dish and we're going to send it to the helpless and the homeless who have nothing to eat we're just gonna go out and feed those that are hungry okay this is a crisis moment and everybody is in crisis right as we speak so we're not gonna be selfish we are not gonna be selfish gonna do the rest of food and then we're gonna share it with those in need so we're gonna take a couple of shots so 
we're gonna be busy now guys so we gotta go so until we see you guys again in a little bit we want to thank you for stopping by on your way out please do not forget to subscribe thumbs up and comment and this is dinner so when we see you again it's gonna be what what are we gonna do maybe another breakfast a brunch a lunch something but we're gonna go ahead and cook the rest of food and then we're gonna give away we have a couple more potatoes here we have some more fish so that's things that we have on the table that we're gonna reproduce we have some more fish here so these are things that we have that we want to go out there and make up a dish for those in need they have not so yeah we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go out so this is it guys that's the dish there so until we see you again we're gonna get busy now ciao la bella au revoir take care ta ta do we see you again walk good bye bye and be safe you and your family and the pet of the day is what? Rabbit, doggy, and kitty will eat fish. So don't put any salt or pepper on the doggy, doggy's food or the kitty's food. And then the rabbit can eat, um, I think, beans and carrots. They lo rabbit love carrots. They can eat any of those veggies, okay? So until we see you again, bye-bye.